It is a beautiful day on the Mississippi Gulf Coast. Hey everybody, it's Victoria. I'm here in my car. I'm about to go pick up my reselling friends, Alicia. You know her over at Murray Life on Instagram and YouTube and our friend Jasmine. And then we're gonna go pick up some other resellers and we're heading to Mobile, Alabama, which is about an hour from where we live on the Mississippi Gulf Coast. And we're gonna go to the Goodwill Outlet, AKA the Bins. We have not been since quarantine was lifted and we're super stoked to go. Our friend who's also a reseller, Alexis, you may know her as Hanger Hunter. She is, she actually lives in Mobile and she has told us that the Goodwill bins are popping. They have raw donations going in, which means it's not just stale inventory from the Goodwill stores that didn't sell, but it's actually raw donations that people have donated directly to Goodwill. So she's finding great stuff. We've seen some of her cart picks and it's super exciting. So hopefully we'll have a good day over there. Any time that we go to the bins together on this road trip, we have a great time. So I don't anticipate that it's gonna be any different this time, even if we don't find any good stuff. Um, that's okay, it's all about the adventure. So we're gonna take you along with us, stick around and we'll see what happens. Bye. this on YouTube. No. We're having a Depends commercial in the back seat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're here. We're here. We made it. <laughs> Christina. We're ready to shop. Jasmine's already got her mask on. Mine is What you got? Some Chico's. Maybe for the YouTube sale? Maybe. Is that what you're going to do? Her YouTube yeah, uh, sale went good. I just, um, I just, what, what you got? Um, oh my god, Christmas cats. Woo! Um, well. <laughs> warm up. <laughs> you gonna get this thing warm up? Yeah, I got it's your. warm up. Yeah. <laughs> you know you like it. <laughs> This is my tiny little uh, pile right here, and this is Alicia and Christina's giganto cart that they're now having to sort into another buggy. And then Dee over here, she's filled up her cart. I thought it was cute too. Jasmine, nothing. What you got, Alexis? <laughs> she said I'm ashamed. I should be the one Here's Alicia going live on Facebook. There's Victoria <laughs> filming me for YouTube. <laughs> 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 you can see. Oh, 
Alexis, her empty hands. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. Hey, Jeff. Hey. Breaking the rules. Got my mask off. I'm here with my crew. Jasmine's my only crew. <laughs> Alicia's getting back up in a bin. Hey. We're at the bins. We're back at the bins. What's up, everybody? We're back at the bins. I'm back from my awesome trip at the Goodwill bins with my girls. So just so you know, I go into these trips to the bins, not expecting much. Uh, we don't have a large bins and I just go for the fun of it. I go to hang out with my other reselling friends. It's a bonding experience for us. I've, ha I've gotten some great things from the bins and then we've gone sometimes then I've only gotten like a couple things. So this is not a big haul. If you want to see a big haul from the bins, you go check out my girl Alicia at Murray Life's uh, video that she did on YouTube of what she got that day we went. But I did get a couple things. And my total was a sad eight pounds. <laughs> and so it was $14 and 32 cents because it was $1.79 a pound. But I definitely think that I will make some money on the items that I did get. And so I'm just gonna show you. So the first items for my kiddos, they're just a pair of vans. I have two little boys, five and six years old. They go through shoes so fast. And we're a Vans family. We love Vans. Um, so I picked these up. They do need some laces and I'll give them a nice wash, but couldn't pass them up because they were at the bins. The next item I got was a Sun Records t-shirt. It's got this cool like heathered bleached out look. It says Johnny Cash. It's got a big guitar and it says Sun Records. I'm not sure if this is from the Johnny Cash Museum in Nashville or not. I think it is. I think it possibly is, but um, it's just a really cool shirt. And I thought if my husband doesn't want it um, because it's his size, then I will crop it. I might do some fun things with it. I might bleach it because it already has this sort of discoloration on it. And so grab that. I don't sell a lot of kids clothes, but I do sell a lot of vintage. So when I saw this dress, I was like, oh my gosh. It is this adorable vintage girl's apron dress. And it's called an apron dress because it ties in the back. So it just goes on the front and then it just ties back here. So it's like a little apron. It's got this cute floral applique and these pretty little ruffles and it's in a pink gingham and it's sort of like a midi length, very cute. And then the really awesome thing is the tag it says the tag says lindley designs new orleans a size 12. i just think this is so precious another kids item that i picked up was this gap kids uh jean vest i got this for my boys um so that i could put little punk rock patches on it um if you haven't watched our youtube channel before we're really into like punk rock and hardcore music so i'm gonna put some cool little patches on this jean jacket and thought that would be really neat all right i also got a, a men's shirt it is a hawaiian shirt these sell really well for me uzi amphibious gear i don't know a lot about this brand but it's in a 2xl and it's a cool tropical pattern it's got some nice buttons on it um, i've never sold this brand before but again these type of shirts do really well for me in my closet for men's Another men's item that I was really excited to find was this blazer and it's a navy blazer. It has really cool like crest buttons and it's got these the crested buttons right here and it actually is a Christian Dior. This line of Christian Dior is actually was made in department stores so it was like 
it was a department store brand, but it's still Christian Dior. Christian Dior still does really well, and Dior's actually been on an upswing lately, so I was excited to find this blazer, especially at the bins. If you haven't seen my first trip to the Goodwill bins, I found a pair of Prada loafers and a Burberry scarf the first time I ever went to the Goodwill bins. I will link that video below. It was really exciting. So always glad to find designer. Something really funny always happens when I go to the Goodwill bins in Mobile. I always find two brands of shoes. The first brand is Vionic and these are some sandals. Vionic sells really well for me. Uh, they're a comfort shoe. These are in excellent condition. They have these sort of like metal rhinestones on them and they have the Velcro. So very cool comfort shoes. Then the other shoe brand I always pick up is a brand that sells for a lot, um, but kind of sits as far as resale, but I still think the styles are really cool. And it's a Sasha London. These are some suede wedges. They have this cool ankle strap with the suede co covered buckle right here. So these are really cute shoes. They were in good condition. And so I went ahead and picked them up. If they were my size, I would keep them. They're super stylish and really like these dudes. All right, next one is a bread and butter brand, but again, it was the bin. So this is White House Black Market. It's just a size medium uh, cow neck sweater, but, and it does have this cool button detail that goes all the way down. It's in great condition. I've already washed it. And so super clean, super crisp, and will be good for the cooler months as they approach. Probably my best find of the day. That is going to definitely double my money from this trip is this furlough leather pouch. It does attach. It probably went to a larger bag. It's got the furlough logo on the zipper and pretty like blue leather and the interior looks great. So um, yeah, I was excited to find this in one of the bins and this will make me a, a nice profit. That was it. That was my tiny thrift haul from the Goodwill outlet. We did have a blast. So I never regret going over there with my reselling friends. It's always fun and can't wait to go back. If you aren't already, be sure to subscribe to our channel. We have more than reselling content, but if you're just here for the reselling, that's okay. We have a playlist for that. You can watch those videos, but I would encourage you to watch our other videos too. We are so much more than just reselling. Thank you guys so much for watching my little vlog of our trip and my mini haul, and I'll see you next time. Bye.